We show you three different tips to fix the mouse issues on Windows 10 1903 coming up in this video. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So Windows 10 has released over the last couple months. It's been slowly deploying out. And from what I understand is there's some mouse issues that are going on with feeling like the mouse is floating or the sensitivity just feels off. And Microsoft has released some updates, not necessarily to fix the mouse issues, but also to address some other system optimization. However, sometimes that does not actually work. With that being said, we're gonna go on over to the computer and I'm gonna show you three different methods that you can use to go in and potentially fix those mouse issues. So let's jump right in. The first option is to go into the mouse settings that Microsoft has given the computer. They've done some updates on it and check to make sure like your sensitivity settings and all of the hardware settings are correct. And you could do that by going into the start menu and typing mouse. You're going to see a mouse setting option. Go ahead and left click on that. And it's going to bring up a new window right here. As you can see, select your primary button. All of this stuff should already be default. But what we're going to pay attention to is over here on the right hand side, you're going to want to click additional mouse options. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring up another menu where you can go in and you can adjust the double click speed. You can switch the primary and secondary buttons. But most importantly, if we go on over to the pointer options, we're gonna be able to change like the pointer speed, enhance the pointer precision. If you are using a gaming mouse, you will want to use the manufacturer's uh, software in order to do this. So for example, I've got a G502 and I've got the Logitech software installed. If you're just using a regular mouse and more on a basic level, you can come in here and select the pointer speed and kind of adjust this to your needs. Once you've done that, you can go down and click apply or okay, and it will apply those settings. Number two, the second option that we're going to go over today is geared more for the gaming aspect of things. If you have a gaming mouse or a high profile mouse, you may want to go into the manufacturer's software if you have that installed and update it to make sure that you have the latest version that may work with 1903 better. In this case, I have a G502. So I'm gonna come on down to my system tray, open up the Logitech G Hub. You may have the Logitech gaming software. They are two different softwares if you're using an older Logitech mouse. However, I would still recommend recommend it. Same with Corsair or uh, Razer. If you have that, go into the manufacturer software and double check the settings in there. I'm going to open up uh, the G hub, which is going to take me in and list all of my hardware on here. As you can see, again, I have the G502. I can go in here and I can come on the left and click sensitivity and just verify that all of these are in fact correct. Make sure that your DPI is the way you want it. From what I've been reading is you can go through and change the report rate down to 250 to see if that helps. However, I like to keep my stuff exactly where it was on default because everything should work the way that it should. So I would go in, but the main thing is if you go back and you go up to the little gear here where it says G Hub settings, click on that and you can see software where it says downloading. So it does look like there is a a new version of this that I'm going to need to download and install that will possibly give me better results as far as a mouse sensitivity. Tip number three is to make sure that your computer has an updated graphics driver. On this machine, I do have an NVIDIA GeForce card, so I'm gonna go down to the NVIDIA icon and you can see that it's got an exclamation indicating that there is a driver update available. If you left click on that icon once, it's gonna open up the GeForce experience and it's gonna give you the version of the game ready driver and also the release date. As you can see, that was released today. I usually like to do some research on this particular version to make sure there's nothing else happening with it. It's not creating any more bugs, etc. After I've done that, I go ahead and click on download and then I perform a clean install through the wizard. So you will want to do that. Same with Radeon cards. If you have the Radeon software installed, just make sure that your graphics card driver is up to date. Now, if you don't have a graphics card and you're using an onboard graphics chip, what you can do again is right click on the start menu Go ahead and left click on device manager once again, and you're gonna see display drivers about the fifth one down. You're gonna want to click on the arrow one more time, and it's gonna list your particular driver or your particular graphics chip in there. Right click on it and click on update driver. Click search automatically for an updated driver software. It's gonna go online and search for a new driver. If it finds one, you're gonna want to go through the setup wizard install. If not, it will bring you to the same window where it says the best drivers for your device are already installed. Now, because Windows doesn't handle the 970 and the GeForce is what handles it, that's why I'm getting this message. However, with an onboard chip, you're gonna want to go through and search for an updated drivers on the Windows update. Or again, go to the manufacturer's website and have them look for the driver for your particular machine and with that that wraps up today's video bringing us into our question of the day what are the tips and tricks have you tried to correct the mouse issues leave your answers in the comment section below the video if you enjoyed this video and found it useful give it a thumbs up and be sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on this channel we do a ton of stuff tech related all the way from how to's and tutorials to tech news i'll link a couple over there on the right hand side of the screen for you and of course don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and enable the bell notifications because you guys don't want to miss out on any type of future content and we will see you on the next one